Hey. Oh, uh, okay. So the last video I posted on my channel was a freaking lock. Um, <coughs> oh, Lord have mercy. The last video posted was the lock install video, right? And it's been a uh, one or two weeks since I posted that, right? And I had so many videos planned, like after that video, but then I was like, nah, I don't want anybody on YouTube to see my locks until after my first retwist. And I haven't really been posting my hair on Instagram a lot either for that specific reason because child under this bonnet, it don't look nothing like how it looked after my my uh install which not a bad thing I, i'm in love like i love it anyway that's besides the point y'all i was on the phone with my boyfriend and he went to sleep on me then he woke up from his sleep and hung up on me thinking that i didn't notice i saw you hang up i had my camera off but i saw you click the button so i gave him 30 minutes 30 minutes go by i text him i'm like hey you sleep no response so i'm just up chilling by myself but it's cool y'all i've been sick for the last three days tomorrow makes day four <laughs> oh, you nasty ass bastard! and let's just say that i'm not happy because this is my last week of school and i have finals like all this week i took my first two finals like in my bed slumped i could barely sit up but i still took them finals past one of them but you know what it's cool because hey i'm proud of myself i did that while i was sick i did that i did that today i had to force myself to go to school because i refused to take any more finals from home i just couldn't do it but now I'm starting to feel better i'm starting to get my energy and my appetite back I'm starting to feel like myself again and i'm up where with nothing to do and nobody to talk to because like i said my boyfriend went to sleep on me so i decided to pick up this camera and just do an all-nighter oh this is not no all-nighter because i know eventually my boyfriend is going to call me back because he's going to wake up from his sleep and look at his phone and be like, oh my gosh, she's not here. He's going to call me back. So this is just a venting session. But yeah, that's it. But y'all, so tell me why me and Lola have been fighting all week because she has been so bad. Like, I don't know where this. <coughs> you fucking nasty ass motherfucker. Ooh, I don't know where this energy from her came from all of a sudden, but all freaking week bro lola has been pooping and peeing in my bed i come home from school open the door and i get hit with a whiff of just poop and then i step in the pee because the pee is like her pee is weird it don't be yellow until i like put a paper towel on it so i'll see it and think oh that's probably just some water that i spilled this morning when i was putting it in her bowl no it's pee you want to know how i know it's pee because after i get that paper towel and put it on the floor it turns yellow i'm like damn i pee on my foot i gotta go get in the shower like and if you watched my week in my life video, then you know I don't like taking showers at night because it makes me go to sleep early. I don't want to go to sleep early. Not saying that sleep is not important, that it's not good to go to sleep, especially because technically I'm still in school. But like, what is this? No. Oh, uh, yeah, that's been going on. So tell me why I kicked her out of my room for a week. Plus, I had just got sick. I was like, Lola, I'm not going to be waking up in the middle of the night cleaning your pee and boo boo off my floor and i'm sick you got me messed up so tell me tell me why i took her cage out of my room right and put it in my brother's room i took her food her water her her bowl for her food and her water and i put it in a room she been in there all week tell me why every night they let her out because she'll be whining and stuff because she wants to come in here so they'll let her out of her out of their room she'll come scratching on my door i'll hear her scratching i'll ignore it because you're not gonna come here and ruin my sleep i'm trying to sleep i'm sick leave me alone she'll scratch on the door and i won't answer so then she'll start barking i mean like, i open the door so quick like girl you done lost your mind three o'clock in the morning and you barking because i won't let you in the room so eventually i give in and i let her in the room then i wake up the next morning because i gotta take a final or i gotta go to school even though i don't feel good and it's boo boo on my floor so i was complaining to my dad about it yesterday and the whole okay so look before okay lord have mercy so i was complaining to my dad about this yesterday right because you know i've been sick all week so i'm like hey dad like i'm just like this is just not my week i don't feel good and lola keep peeing and pooping on my floor i don't know what's wrong with her she goes outside like five times a day like i'm not understanding so after i was done you know ranting to him about how my week was horrible i was like hey can you give me some popsicles and can you get some food for lola because she just she had just run out he was like yeah i got you he goes to the store right 
He comes back like four hours later. I'm like, dang, like I need my popsicles now. Where are you at? He comes back four hours later, right? Knocks on the door. I'm like, yeah, come in. Excited because I'm finna get my popsicles, right? He comes in the room with Lola's food. I'm like, oh, okay, where, where the rest of the stuff at? He was like, oh yeah, it's another bag in the kitchen. Let me go get it for you. So he comes in and brings the bag. He's like, here you go. Hope you feel better. Love you. I'm like, oh, thanks. Love you too. I open this bag, y'all. No popsicles. Dog pads. Dog pads. Like, you thought that was funny? You thought that was funny? So I text him. I'm like, are the popsicles in the freezer? Like, and at this point, it was like 11 o'clock at night. And he goes to sleep real early. Like, I was shocked when he came in my room at like 1040 and was like, here you go. So it was like 11 o'clock when I texted him. And I was like, hey, are the popsicles in the freezer? Like, I'm missing something. He didn't answer. I gave him like 15 minutes to answer. And when he didn't answer, I looked at the time and was like, oh, he knocked out. So I get up, I open the freezer, nothing. Nothing. Like, what is this? <coughs> That's nasty, man. <coughs> so then, after that situation happened, I kept waking up in the middle of the night. And I tend to do this a lot. But, like, I'll wake up and be up for, like, 30 minutes and then go back to sleep. So during this 30 minutes, I took the time to text. I mean, not text. Lord have mercy. I emailed my fashion design teacher telling her basically that I'm stuck at home with a fever. I don't feel good. That I probably won't be at school tomorrow because I'm sick. And it's finals week. So I'm basically emailing this to her so that she can give me, you know, the permission to take my finals from the comfort of my home. This lady emailed me back instantly. And I was shocked because when I emailed this lady, it was like three in the morning. So I'm like... Oh, like, this is weird, but okay. She, I, like, she emailed me back. She was like, hey, sorry, you're not feeling good, but you have to come to school for your final because this is a fashion design class and the final is to prove to me that you know how to sew on a button. I was like, bro, like, okay. So next day comes and I actually don't feel horrible. So I get in the shower and I'm like, man, I, re I really don't want to go to school today. I can barely talk without coughing. You know, I got to, I got to. Pass all my finals and then I'm done. I got three more days and I'm done. I can do this. I got this. So I get to school, right? I walk into my fashion design class and the teacher's like, hey, get your Chromebook out. Finals on canvas. I'm like, finals on canvas? You told me we were sewing a button. What is this? So, you know, I get my Chromebook out and I start the final. I didn't even say nothing about it because I'm like, well, I'm here now. Like, I can't, nothing that I can say or do is going to change the fact that I still am here and that I have to take my final. So, I didn't say nothing about it. I was like, cool, whatever, I'll take the final. So, while I'm taking this final, y'all, I, I told y'all I'm sick. I can barely get a word out without coughing. So, I could barely talk without coughing. So, during this final, I'm just in the back of the class like, <coughs> Like trying to hold my cough in. The fashion design teacher was like, Serenity, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. And she was like, come here for a second. So I, I go up there. Oh, I'm sorry. My boyfriend had just called me, but I hung up on him to finish this story. So anyway, so she called me up to her desk and she's like, you know, if you're not feeling well, you can just go to the nurse and we'll figure out a way for you to retake the final. I was like, no, we're not doing that because I'm going to finish this final. It's a half day of school. Like, what's the point of me going to the nurse and going home? Like, that's dumb. So she was like, okay, well, I can't have you coughing around the the rest of my students ma'am i have a mask on i sat at the back for this reason like we're, we're more than six feet apart like <laughs> chill out but she was like no 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 no. i insist i insist i'll pull a desk out into the hallway for you people keep calling me anyway she pulled the desk into the hallway for me and makes me take my test in the hallway in the hallway i took this final in the hallway like first of all our hallways echo so anytime i call they could probably hear me coughing in the stairwell. What makes you think that me coughing in the hallway is better than me coughing in the classroom? Like, hey, honestly, y'all, uh, I just needed to vent and get that off of my chest without hearing any feedback from anybody because it be like that sometimes. Like, sometimes I just want to talk and not hear nothing back. But, like, I don't know. I just be talking, y'all. I just be talking. But this was very random, and I said all of that just to say I see y'all in the next one. Bye.